Troopers Azariah Keith and Carrie Woodard were both struck on I-65 southbound in Indianapolis. The sites of the collisions were about a mile apart. State police report Trooper Keith is recovering well after being struck by an allegedly drunk driver Friday. Trooper Woodard was out of her car conducting a traffic stop when her car was struck. ISP reports she was not injured in the collision. Now, state police are urging people to pay attention to avoid incidents like these. When there's an emergency personnel, not just law enforcement, fire department, um, medical personnel, tow truck services, or anyone with flashing lights that was um, included this year to be disabled vehicles on the side of the road, that you have to move over to the, to the uh, left lane or the lane opposite of that vehicle. And if you're unable to do so, you have to slow down to at least 10 miles per hour below the posted speed limit. Sorry. Sergeant Jeremy Pierce is the public information officer for the ISP post for Lafayette. Pay attention to the roadway. People need to put down their cell phones, put down all these distractions that they have today and focus on the task at hand, which is driving, getting from point A to point B. All too often people are driving down the roadway, they're drinking their soda, they're eating their lunch, they're texting on their cell phone. Put down all those distractions and be safe while you're driving, focusing on that roadway. Make sure you're looking at traffic ahead. And the state police aren't the only ones seeing an issue on the roads. You see people on their phones, distracted or, you know, I see vapes, you know, here and there. Uh, but I guess I honestly, you know, if they could kind of put that aside and just be safe during these times, you know, it's just easily to get distracted. It's easily, you know, to cause a big crash, cause a big scene, you know, but it could be avoided by, you know, putting the phone away, just leaving it alone. Indiana State Police remind you we all have a hand in keeping each other safe. Pay attention, slow down, and keep your neighbors safe. Emily Slater, Star City News, Lafayette.